Hey and welcome. I know you're watching this video because you ultimately want to live a better life. But before we dive into it and we kind of break down the entire process, who the hell am I and why should you listen to me? My name is Eon. I've spent 14 years in active physiotherapy, relearning how to walk. I was immobile for five years. I couldn't walk. Hell, like my leg is hella cut up. I don't know if you can see that, but my entire Achilles and my tendons have been cut up um, due to botched operations in Bulgaria. Long story short, kind of got through all of that got into natural bodybuilding, um, competitive half Ironman triathlon, as well as elite level cycling. Now I run a health tech company that systemizes and automates health for high performance entrepreneurs. So if you want to learn more about my journey, just check out my socials. All the social proof is there. Uh, too much to go over in this video. So that's a little bit about me. In terms of some accolades and statistics, I have a 140 half marathon, a 504 half Ironman. I've biked 320 kilometers in a day. And right now I'm currently at around 200 to 215 pounds between competition dates, yes, at a natural bodybuilding event and between just regular maintenance as well as Ironman events. I hover around that range at 6'5". So in regards to all of those things, um, just showing you the potential of what can happen, even coming from a limited standpoint of, you know, dealing with severe, immense mobility conditions. So if I can do it, I know that you can do it and you can probably beat me. So let's break that down and let's kind of reframe the mind and understand why we want to live a certain way, why we haven't gone there yet, and what we're going to do to achieve that result for us moving forward. So first things first, you want to learn how to live a better life. What does that entail? What does that look like? What are the pieces of that? Well, I can probably bet or guarantee that it looks like one of these things because this is what it looks like for at least one, one, I'd say one to three of these things are hit for every single one of our clients. I want to perform at my highest ability. So you want to continuously push your body, get that, you know, A++, plus, A++ plus plus physique, continue to bike up mountains, climb bigger and bigger hills, run further and further and faster, etc. You want children. So you want your fertility, um, your future to be guaranteed. You want healthy children. You want to be able to reproduce properly, etc. You want to look better. You're not happy with the way you look right now. Um, you want to feel better. So ultimately, you know, you have a lot of brain frog, fog. You don't have a lot of clarity. You're struggling with your mental health, for example. So you want to feel better. You want to live a long life. So you want to understand what can you do today to make sure that you add years to your life later down the line. And you want a pain-free life. You know, this for me was a big one. I wanted a pain-free way to stop dealing with my leg condition because all of the pain would always be hammering away at it. Like I didn't know what to do with it. And ultimately, you want to learn how to do these things so that you can implement them for yourself to ultimately live a better life, whichever one of these things it is, or if it's all of them. The cool thing with health is that once you tackle it holistically, you can solve all of these things and get the highest level of results for all of them. So what does that look like? Well, performing at your highest ability right now is seen as hybrid athletics, right? A high muscle mass, lean, and freaking crushing it and killing it on running, biking, swimming, whatever physical endeavor that looks like. Children, so having healthy children that live a long life that are free of like um, mental conditions or physical conditions when they're born. So the whole birth process is optimal and there's no um, risk of the mother dying once they get, once they give birth or, you know, the kid having deformities like me, for example, you want to look better. So obviously, you know, chiseled abs, more defined muscles, fuller muscles, stronger muscles, etc. feeling better. Um, just being able to be really articulate, I think is a really cool part of feeling better is like whatever you think just comes out of the mouth right away. So that as well as other things there, you want to live a long life. So obviously, that just means like, you know, being able to touch your toes when you're 60, going well into your 90s, going up to 100, our company mission is trying to get it to 150 and living a pain-free life. So obviously tangibles is not having the pain. So what those are some, what some of those things look like, look like. and obviously you're familiar with them because you're a human being, you're watching this video, you can hear the words coming out of my mouth, so you know what these things look and feel like to some extent. Now, obviously we'll kind of dive quickly into what this will give you and why it's valuable, but if you're here, you've already convinced yourself of that. So if you wanna skip this part, that's totally fine. But essentially, we'll just start with one of them and then I'll just kind of shoot over some examples. And the reason why we're even doing this or I'm going over and breaking this step down is because you're in this loop right now. You haven't found the solution to one of these things, if not all of them that you're trying to deal with. And you keep relapsing, right? You keep eating junk food. You keep not looking good. You keep not feeling good. 
you keep having problems with your fertility potentially, you're not able to perform at your highest ability and you're trying to figure out why. But the only way that we're going to figure out why is to understand the core root cause of how to achieve what you want and what you're looking for and then breaking down the steps and then finding, okay, where, where am I not doing something right? That's the only way to ever progress, right? And we can't do that unless if we understand things and unless if we drive a strong enough why. And this is what we're doing now. What will this give me? This is the why. Once we orchestrate the why strong enough, um, this will keep you out of your stupid human bullshit of failing, right? So you're going to fail and fail and fail and fail. And you'll keep failing forward because you're working towards a strong enough why rather than failing and then relapsing and then giving up and then, you know, spending money, spending money on a new dish set to distract yourself from the fact that you're not achieving your goal, which will ultimately, you know, keep, keep spiraling away. So my goal is here to, you know, for mid and put that strong enough why in you so that you never give up with this sort of stuff. Um, performing at your highest ability. What does that look like? The body that you've always wanted, progressively getting better in terms of, you know, speed, um, endurance, strength, power, aesthetics, like size, for example, healthy heart rate, healthy blood, uh, HRV, heart rate, respiratory rate. Um, what else is there? There's a ton of other stuff. Uh, blood pressure, for example, a disciplined mind that that shows you first handedly with your body and proves to others that you set and you do anything that you say that you do, right? So strong integrity with first hand physical, non arguable validity, right? This is a physical endeavor. If you climb up a mountain and you put that on Strava, you know, and the entire world knows and your phone knows and your watch knows that you did something that's very empowering, because it's different than just getting a dopamine rush, which I've struggled with when I say, Hey, I'm going to do something. And then you feel so good. And then you get up and then you don't actually do that thing. So getting out of that loop there. Uh, children, obviously, a lot of people have different reasons why they want kids looking better, confidence, respect, authority, uh, validity, again, uh, self confidence, self motivation, feeling better, obviously ties into every aspect of your life being more articulate, uh, having more clarity, being happier, healthier mental health, again, super overarching, but pretty good. Uh, want to live a long life seeing your life through letting you know time compound for your benefit and living a pain-free life obviously without having to deal with any repercussions there so there's two things from stopping that are stopping you right now and this is across the board with health we've i've been working on this for i'd say the better part of i mean my health journey has been like eight years from since high school 2020 well not eight years what is that six six years from getting out of high school at 150 so 150 pounds at six five and then going to um 230 at my heaviest at 6'5", so 80 pounds of muscle in around two years to Ironman's bodybuilding, etc. to starting the business now. So obviously health has kind of been something that I've been struggling with my whole life with my foot. For example, I also have tinnitus. So I have a hearing aid, funny enough, where like it blocks out the sound um, that I get from tinnitus, tinnitus. I think it's one of those two. So I always get a constant ringing in my ear. You can't really tell because hearing aids are pretty cool and discreet. But there it is. So it cuts out all the ringing. For example, I also have my acne was a lot worse, but like definitely get like one or two pimples in the summer here and there. So there's all everyone struggles with health problems and you're not alone. Like it's not just something that, you know, I want to be seen as like I come to the table and I'm like this big, strong guy that's done all these spikes, etc. No, like this is a problem that everyone struggles with. And these are cycles that I've gone through and that I've learned to overcome. And anyways, there's two things right now that are stopping us from getting better at those things. Number one is fact driven health decisions. This does not exist in health in general, right? It's mainly seen as fads. You'll see the whole foods, you'll see the vegans, you'll see the high performance guys, you'll see the, you know, the, the gym bros, etc. And you'll see all that stuff plastered all across social media. You'll see scientific articles about weird case studies like Oh, these people were put on a keto cleanse for this many days. And these are the results that they saw. But no one is talking about how to combine data driven health decisions together to give you an, inf an informative outlook towards how your body best responds to things. See, that's that's where the magic is, right? Um, what, what we do for our clients is we do a DEXA scan, which is a full body scan that kind of breaks down the body composition. It tells you what your fat mass is, your muscle mass, etc. And it gives you a real accurate reading of your BMR. That's one puzzle piece. The swatch is another puzzle piece. It gives you your accurate heart rate data. Yeah, thumbs up there. Um, <laughs> Bloom likes the watch. So this gives you an accurate reading of your heart rate data, your blood. That's something that the watch or the DEXA can't pick up. 
Your blood gives you your immunity levels, kidney health, hemoglobin, D3, B12, testosterone, LH, SFH. It gives you different things of health, give you different puzzle pieces. But no one is taking data-driven health decisions seriously. We're just guessing, which is probably why we're not living that long. Like, obviously, obesity is bad. Obviously, smoking is bad. But, like, how quantifiable and how bad is it on a real-time scale, right? That, that's, where, that's the magic that's missing. The other thing is it's very difficult to live optimally if you don't know where to start. So these are two problems that our company solves, optimability. And it solves it, we'll, we'll dive into this, for people that want to implement them themselves, people that want all of this done for them, that's our clients. Um, if you're watching this, you probably have the time to implement it yourself. So I'll show you how to do that, it's all free. And people that want this done for their team to obviously optimize their workforce. Now there are a couple of things I want you to do right now in your mind. You can kind of take a break, you know, potentially close your eyes. This is, a, this is a good exercise to close your eyes and think of health. Now eliminate every single thing that you think of, whatever health is, whatever word comes to mind, whatever body, etc., and think of these things moving forward for the rest of your life. You have recovery, fitness, nutrition, and mental health. That, those are the core pillars. There's obviously some extraneous ones um, as well, but almost everything fits into those things. Fitness, nutrition, recovery, and mental health. You cannot be in the best shape of your life even if you have the perfect, the most perfect trainer, you're going to the gym every single day, you're hitting every workout, um, you're eating the perfect foods every single day, you're eating exactly what your body needs, you have all the data testing done, etc. But you're getting a shitty sleep every night. Like, you're not going to be as healthy as you can be. Even if you're getting a perfect sleep every night, you're training every day perfectly, you're eating perfectly, but your mental health is bad. You're not healthy. Like, I just, it's such an agitating thing for me because people try and separate these bubbles that you cannot separate them there's no way to separate them at all like they all intertwine they all contribute to your overall well-being and i think that that's a really important part of reframing things so you know I, if i'm not talking about self-care right now or if i'm not talking about good mental health habits right now just know that it's not because um, I don't think that they're important, but I think that there's people out there that are much more qualified that um, have degrees on these things that are that have master's degrees on these things that are way, way, way more inept to give you better information. But just know that that is a part of your mental health and your health in general, right? Now, in terms of reframing, and getting all this done for you, school. So on school here, if you go to our school page, it is free. I'll link it in the bio. We have around 80 people in here. If you go to classroom, it is broken up based on the level of expertise that you have. If you don't understand anything about health, the health toolbox will show you all of the basics in regards to losing weight, gaining weight, being in peak performance, you know, talking about wearables and tech, explaining how food works, stomach health, optimizing your diet, supplementation, food is control, sauna, steam room, you name it, recovery, self-actualization, that's the, the health toolbox does a good job at telling you the basics. Now the peak performance blueprint, this is for doing the data testing, understanding the foundations, getting the biohacking gadgets integrated with the data testing. Um, there's some more personal health plans in here. Our cookbook is in here as well. Again, all 100% free. Now, if you're looking to implement all of this for you, so if you have the money and you know you wanna go ahead with the tests and you wanna move forward, Maxibility. This is your third level course here. It's a notion link as well. Again, all of it is free. It takes you through the exact step-by-step -step process for hiring an A++ team in your home to implement all this for you. In-house chef, in-house trainer, in-house um, physiotherapist, how they all talk, how they all coordinate, the process for hiring them all, as well as all the equipment that they'll need and all of the testing that you will need as well. Um, go over the OKR, it's much more in depth. I'm not gonna go over it in this video. You can watch this video to get a better understanding of how that works. And then it also talks about, you know, how to use cohesive data in uh, terms of health to better make, to make better data-driven health decisions. So this eliminates the aspect of not having the time to implement it all because it shows you how to implement it all and also shows you how to take the data-driven decisions to move it forward. So hopefully that video was comprehensive and it gave you the assurance that you need to make sure that you know every single step to take in terms of reframing your mind and living the life that you've always wanted. All the best. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Cheers.